What I want to show you in this video is this simple and inexpensive little gizmo I made. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but what it's for is for cutting straight lines with my plasma cutter, which happens to be a Thermodynamics Cutmaster 52 with the SL60 torch. So that might help you if you're making one of these. You'll know what I started with anyway. So I'll show you how it works. It's really simple. I don't hardly have any money in it at all. Uh, it's basically an old trailer jack is the, is the most of it and it holds the end or holds the torch and then folds down onto the work. The torch fits in just like this and then at this end is an ordinary variable speed drill which drives the the uh, mechanism, standard trailer jack mechanism. Speeds seem to work out pretty good. Um, you've got to go pretty slow on thicker material. That's mainly what I built it for is thicker material because uh, I can cut the thinner material quite nicely with my hand. But the thicker material, I've got to go so slow and the angle is really important. You've got to hold a steady angle to keep it, uh, keep a square cut. So that's really what this thing is for. A um, couple of tips if you happen to decide to build one. This head was really simple. I just took a hole saw, cut a hole right through here and I put in a piece of ordinary EMT. And I welded it in with my wire welder. And that happens to fit exactly on this torch head. So that's just a, a lucky coincidence I guess, but uh, sure makes it simple. For uh, vertical adjustment as the torch is riding along the work, of course it just goes in and out a little bit like this. That's part of it. The other vertical adjustment for thicker pieces of work or thinner is this little saddle I made here, which just is welded to a bolt, goes right through. There's a nut on the underside to weld it on, so as you turn, turn this it raises or lowers. And it, the other purpose of this is to keep this end of the torch from moving sideways, makes it stable. This right here is a square guide, put your work against there, and that's square to the cut. Um, so it seems to work all right. And these two pieces here just support the work in a vertical position. Um, what else can I tell you here? I use an ordinary T hinge. This piece here is just to support this end of the of the tool. I've used a workmate. I don't know if they even make workmates anymore, but that's what I use. I had it laying around um, to support it, and uh, that's about all there is to it. It's really simple, and it seems to work quite well.
And here is the finished cut. You can see there's a couple of little divots in it there uh, where I squeezed the trigger and the drill a little bit too much, I guess. And then this end over here is where I had to cut by hand because the machine won't reach it. Not too bad, but you can see there's a bit of a difference. This one's rougher. And on this one there is no room for improvement because that's as good as I can do with a straight edge. This one done by the machine, I think I can make some tweaks and I can make it cut even a little bit better. So there's the finished product.